In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways you can 3D print text. Let's get started. Okay, so if you're using Cura as your slicer, one of the simplest options we've got is literally just to import a picture straight into Cura. So you'd open up a file as you would normally do with a model, but instead you'll select a picture file instead. I've used a JPEG. You'll then be presented with this convert image menu. You've then got a variety of options which should be fairly self-explanatory, but it's worth pointing out that base is the part that will either add some thickness to the bottom of the model or not. So if you've got a white background and you want to have some thickness to hold all the text together, then set the base to something positive. If you want the text to just be there on its own, set the base to zero and you'll be left with just the text. So if we click OK, you'll see Cura then turns our picture or our text in this case or logo into a 3D printable model. And just to prove that that is indeed 3D printable, let's slice that model and have a look at the print preview that Cura generates. So I'll click slice and then I'll click preview. And you can see the print output looks something like this. But of course, we have just effectively got lots of different islands and they wouldn't all be joined together because we didn't choose a base. If you were printing onto something directly, that wouldn't be a problem. But if you were just printing on its own, you might want to set the base to something like one millimeters. And then when you slice this instead and have a look at that print preview, you would end up with a printable file that is all in one piece. Obviously, it would take longer to print because you're printing a base. The next option I have for you is to use Tinkercad. Tinkercad is some free online CAD software designed by Autodesk. And I've done tutorials on it in the past, but it is a great, easy to use free online software that I would recommend having a look at anyway, even if you don't use it to create text. But all you do is drag in from the basic shapes menu some text and then adjust the text to say whatever you want it to say. There are a few font options, although it's not particularly extensive. That said, you can use the other features, mainly bevel and segments, to adjust the overall look of the font. Bevel is quite effective in creating a very thick looking fonts sort of like bold or ultra bold so that can be quite cool as well then the segment tool rounds off the edges to create a more curved font more curved effect to the text once you're happy click the model click export and choose stl or obj and then you can drag and drop your file into your slicer as you normally would here it is shown in Cura. I'm just going to move it down a millimeter down into the bed to chop off the lower section of the curve so we have a flat surface to print on. And then if you have a look at that, you'll see once again, we have got some 3D printable text. If you don't want the text to be separate islands, then you could jump back into Tinkercad and add a rectangular backboard or a circular backboard to the text so that it keeps it all together when printed. I'll do a quick demonstration of that here now as well. We would just drag a block in from the basic shapes menu again and adjust the dimensions to whatever we felt appropriate. Tinkercad has an excellent feature called a line. So if you select both of the models at the same time, click the align button and then click the central two tabs that show up on the model, you'll find your model nicely aligned, ready for export. You can then group these two models and export as we did previously. Now onto our final methods. We're going to take a logo, convert it to a vector, and then convert that vector into a 3D printable model. Okay, so let's start off. I've just taken this random logo here, and then what I'm gonna do is turn that image into a vector. I'm just going to do another search on free online vectorization tool or free online image to vector tool. And I've come up with these two options here, vectorization.eu, which produced this conversion. Pretty good. Not perfect because there's a few different quirks to it, but not too bad. And then we've got here online-converting.com slash vectorize, which also did a pretty good job of converting. However, when I tried to drag this logo, 
into the next step, it didn't work. So for now, we're going to stick to the first one, vectorization.eu, link in the description below. Okay, so we save that file that's been generated via vectorization.eu and then move back into Tinkercad, which we used earlier. This time we're going to click the import button and click on that vector that we just generated in the last step. You'll see, once you put in the parameters that you're after, you end up with this, which looks pretty spot on. Again, once this has been generated, you've got effectively separate islands, and so you might want to add a backboard like I showed previously, drag in a cube, set it to the dimensions that you're after, and adjust the height so that it's lower than the text or logo itself, and then select both of the models, use the align tool, and click those tabs in the center of the vertical and horizontal to align the model completely. Once you've got that, select it all again, group, and then you are, of course, ready to export the model and print it. So we we'll click export, select STL, and then jump back across to Cura to see how it looks. Voila. Then, if as before, we click slice and then preview, we'll have a look at the print preview for this file. And as you can see, all looks as we would expect. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. That's three quick methods on how we can 3D print various text and logos. I know I've touched upon this topic in previous videos, but wanted to have it as a standalone video so that I can refer to it in some projects I have coming up. If you're not a subscriber already, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button and come along with me for the journey. Anyway, that's it for me. I will see you next time.